Safe Express, dedicated to 100% customer satisfaction while maintaining a safe working environment. This is another in a series of training videos dedicated to that mission. Please pay close attention to the details of the video and if you have any questions at the end, make this known to your supervisor. At the end of the video, you'll answer some basic questions about what you have seen and heard. Answer these questions and give the paperwork to your supervisor. This will help us in order to evaluate our information and continue in our quest to improve our work skills and work environment. In this video, we're going to join Chris as he explains the proper way to handle a pallet jack and also how to unload in certain circumstances. So let's join Chris now. When unloading a skid of freight onto a lift gate to take into a store or any other location, you always want to take the pallet jack and go forward with the pallet jack. You never want to back up onto the dock plate or the lift gate. The reason for that, obviously, if you're backing up, you may step back too far and go off of the lift gate. You want to be able to push the pallet jack and the pallet towards the lift gate so that you can visually see everything in front of you for safety purposes. You will take the freight onto the dock plate or, or lift gate. You will push it on and then you will slightly turn at all times going slowly and paying careful attention. You do not want to push the skid off of the dock plate or lift gate, nor do you want any of the freight to get damaged in doing so. So once you start pushing it on, you will turn the pallet jack sideways onto the lift gate, such as this. Once you have it on the lift gate and it's securely in the middle of it, you will drop your pallet jack. Never go down with the pallet jack jacked up because then the pallet can move around and it can cause a safety issue for yourself. You will then at that point in time turn sideways, step to the side, ensuring that your toes are away from the lift gate in the back of the truck. You will make sure that the lift, the pallet jack is lowered down and secured and you want to make sure that the handle is turned sideways. That way the pallet jack can only go forwards and backwards and you don't have to worry about it going off the back of the, or off to the side of, of the lift gate. At that point in time, once the wheels are turned sideways, your toes are cleared, you will reach down, bend your knees if need be, push the button and hold the button down until you're firmly down. Once the pallet jack is down, the lift gate is down, you step off the lift gate. At that point in time, you can jack the pallet back up Again, with the, 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 the wheels of the uh, pallet jack turned sideways, so once it comes up, it starts rolling off, and you have it off the truck. It's the same process once you're coming back onto the truck. Whether you got returns or you just have the pallet jack itself, again, you're going to push it onto the dock lift gate. You're going to turn it sideways. You're going to ensure you're going to ensure that it's securely in the middle of the lift gate. Again, you are going to drop the pallet and the pallet jack down. You will turn your pallet jack wheels to the side, to the opposite direction. You will stand back up on the lift gate. Again, ensuring that your toes are nowhere near the lip. You will raise the button up to raise you up. The reason you want to hold the button to go completely down without stopping or all the way up without stopping is if you take the switch, raise it up and halfway through, let it go, it's going to cause it to bounce. You want a smooth transition going down as well as up. So once the wheels are turned sideways, the pallet jack is lowered, the skid is in the middle, the freight is secured, we're going to raise the button up. We're going to hold the button up, again ensuring that we're not too close to the edge, our toes are not there, ride it up. Once the lift gate's up, I will step into the back of the truck. I will again jack the pallet jack up. And I will pull the pallet into the truck and stage it accordingly. In this case, I will take the pallet. This is the only one on the truck at this point in time. I will run the pallet into the truck. 
I put the pallet firmly against the wall of the truck and against the side of the truck. If I'm complete at this stop, before I leave to the next location, I will secure the pallet jack in the truck. I will do that by taking a strap I will take the strap, I will run it underneath the handle on the pallet jack, through the handle such as this. Then I will put it into the E-Track system itself. As you notice, I have it buckled in on the E-Strap about two foot past the handle itself. Then I will take the other end of the E-Strap I will feed it through accordingly. Again, I will take the strap. I will come back further from the handle and place this one on the E-Track here. And I will pull the strap to where it's firmly in place. And I'll yank on it to make sure that it is secured and strapped. A pallet jack that is not secured will easily roll around in the truck, possibly break the door and possibly even go through the door if not firmly secured. So the pallet will get strapped in by going in front of the pallet handle and around doing the same on this side. Another reason why you want to do that and keep it above the handle, if this strap were to be on this handle, it breaks this handle. These pallet jacks are about $550, $600, which the driver signs for. They don't want to be the one damaging it. At the same time, you don't want to grab the strap and yank as hard as you can and try to bend this handle. So if you buckle it in the front, run it underneath the handle through the side, connect it to this side or this E-Track here, that will firmly secure your pallet jack from moving around causing any damage to the freight, to the pallet jack, to the back door, or even somebody personally. You have now completed the video on the proper operation and storage of the pallet jack. I hope you've paid close attention to the details of this video. At this time, if you would please proceed to the paperwork section and answer the questions. As soon as completed, present those questions to your supervisor. Thank you for helping Safe Express continue our pursuit of the quality service, 100% customer satisfaction, and a safe working environment.